It's the Pit Parade, a nostalgic welcome at the Pittsburgh scene from the KDKA TV archives. It was a case the United States of America had never before experienced, and it happened right here in Pittsburgh the week of May the 29th, 1953. A man from the Oakland section who served in Korea was arrested and whisked away to the Far East to stand trial for his alleged part in the murder of a Korean civilian. Robert Toth's family was completely taken by surprise. We didn't hear him more until 9.30 Wednesday night when he called from the airport and said he was leaving for Korea. Well, now you says you threw a match. And Pit Parade had another surprise for its viewers. It was a first in police history. Our camera was permitted to film a police interrogation. This man had been arrested for a string of arson fires on the north side. Here he is at the scene of one of those fires, and you get the feeling he didn't understand what was happening to him. And I saw smoke. So I went for my feet on this to put this out, and I went up in the front room. See? But you didn't put it out. No. It was unrelated, but the north side warehouse of Anchor Sanitary Company went up in flames this week. It was stubborn, and to make matters worse, the building had a suit of galvanized iron armor that got red hot. It all had to be ripped off to get at the flames. Damages total $200,000 to the warehouse on the north side. And the point was the point of this article in Collier's Magazine. The title was, You'd Never Know Pittsburgh, and it ballyhooed the renaissance that turned Pittsburgh from a ghost town into a showplace. Mayor David L. Lawrence couldn't have been more proud. And Mount Lebanon was also proud of its Little League program after years of disrepair. Washington Field was no longer a diamond in the rough, and the Dormont Dodgers stepped out to inaugurate it. Some Major League Baseball players were pitching for Uncle Sam this week. You're not seeing double. The twins of the 1953 Pirates, Johnny and Eddie O'Brien, were marching off to the military. These boys didn't get this thorough a checkup when they signed with the Buckos. And it was a sign of the season in Sharpsburg. The kindergarten class of 1953 was donning caps and gowns to receive their diplomas. The tiny tots had a bit of trouble with runaway caps, but mom was there to reach out and lend a hand. Plenty of pomp and circumstance the week of May the 29th, 1953. Saying cheerio and video, Bill Burns for Fit Parade.